joke. Good morning. At least it is for me. I'm Dave with Calamity News and Politics Entertainment Report. Uh, I'm here with Calamity Clown, who's giving me crap over here where you can't see her, which is probably a good thing. Um, today, we're going to talk about comedy. Last time I did uh, Old People, New Music. Uh, we're going to do Old People, New Comedians. Um, and this one is probably the one I should have done first, because I have this dream of one day doing stand-up comedy if COVID ever goes away, you know. And I even like old jokes, um, because some of them become so old, people don't even remember them. Um, I think, for example, it's, I'll just tell you a couple of jokes from the old days here. So, do you know why ducks have big feet? So they can stamp out forest fires. Do you know why elephants have big feet? So they can stamp out burning ducks. <laughs> I really shouldn't joke about forest fires. My, my great-grandmother had uh, wooden legs and she got caught in a forest fire. Burned right to the ground. It was, it was a tragedy. So, bad jokes to start off. But let's talk about some of the comedians that I like. I would have to say my current uh, favorites. I'll start the list with Eliza Schlesinger. Uh, she won last comic standing, gosh, like a decade ago. She's just hysterical. And one of the things I'm so impressed with when I try to write comedy, um, and I see what she does is the way, one of the reasons I find her so funny is she takes the joke and then she adds another joke on top of it that refers to it. And she may do that two or three times and build back up on top of that laugh by re-referring to it. Particularly like, you know, when she does her little voices of her girlfriends that eventually evolve into the sounds of sheep. <laughs> that's, that's very cool. Um, there's so many other great comedians out there. Um, I like Brian Posehn, and he makes me a little bit uncomfortable, and I, I kind of like that. Plus, he's metal, metal, like me. And um, I'm going to I'm going to talk about probably my current favorite uh, comedian, and I'm going to uh, connect his video, and he's going to tell you a story about the the guys from Full House and Fuller House, and. What I love about Brad Williams is that he tells story about uh, his life and they're relatable. So since he's a little person, you know, obviously there's a lot of stories that he tells that are related to the fact that he's a little person. But he's just straight up funny. I mean, he's hysterical. It, it It's not a play on his disability, although a lot of the jokes, of course, surround his disability. But damn, he's just funny. Wait till you see this clip. You know, again, it has to do with his, with him being a, a, a little person. But it's it's just so much more hysterical than than that. Um, so I hope you enjoy, and I need you to, to give me some feedback. Tell me who your favorite bands are. Tell me your favorite movies, especially if you're an old dude like me, or if you're a young guy going, hey, moron, these are the new cool things. You know, send me out to see that. I'd like to see that. Um, I want to do something on movies, but I have to be honest with you, with with the global pandemic, who's going to the movies? They, they're they not, you know, there's no way to see them and, and rate them right now. Um, so. I'll probably end up doing some Netflix kind of things. We'll have to see. There have been some pretty good Netflix movies. I think we all know that. So anyway, I'm going to check out for this week. You have a wonderful day. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye now.